Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Modded. Today, we've got a bit of a sewage problem here at the castle base that we need to take care of. Let's get started. Well, ladies and gentlemen, not much has been done since the last time we were together. The main reason is, well, you know you know how I've been recording these. It's, it's a bit ahead of schedule, right? So I, I do a bunch of batch recording, and the Hypermind vanilla server just reset, so I've been getting set up there. So I have not been doing as much around here, despite the fact that we've got a lot of work to be done. But I have done a little bit over here. I have added some sewers. So you see that right there? What those are doing is those are grabbing sewage from all of these sheep. And then I have done a little bit of work on the inside here now that I have discovered... Ooh, something's, something's not going right here. I have discovered Ender.io. And let's see, something is not right in the state of Denmark here. Let's see what might be the problem. Aha! Do you see it? That should be on the item. No, no, no. That's extract. Item is insert. Okay. And that's insert. That's insert. And that's insert. Ah, okay. So let's get down into here and see what might be the problem with this one. Okay. Oh, that's that's it right there. Did I pick that up? Nope. Okay, so the problem is that we are not actually getting... No, is that... It didn't pick it up at all. Or did it drop it? Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. So, I have found an issue, and you combine that with the fact that I did not pick up that particular one at all. It's just... Well, that's weird. Is it getting sucked up into there? No, I have no idea where that's going. So, we've got a little mystery on our hands. Let's see if we can figure this out. Alright, so none of the item ducks are pulling from... Okay, they're all going over there. They're not pulling from the rancher. And that's a problem. Yeah, I don't know where they're going. So we'll, we'll take care of that. The problem is, right now, I am not getting done what I need to get done for this episode. We are getting sidetracked. So with the introduction of those sewers, uh, I only got two. Out of all that, that's all I got was two. I don't know where the other ones went to. So, we will need to figure that out. Let's see. And... Yeah. Okay. So, it does not... It does not like that. Maybe we have to pull from the back? Maybe we've got to... Maybe that's the issue. we got to pull from the back. Let me see if I can get out of here now. Let's go. There we go. Let's put that right there. It's an item conduit, but it is not attaching to the MFR harvester. Well, this is a mystery indeed. Um, I'm going to try and get that sorted out by the conclusion of this episode, but that is not what we are here for today. That is a good find. A good find indeed. Let's grab those. And this one. All right. Yep. So let's not worry about that for now. We've got the sewage going into the sewers over there. And then I've got those feeding back into the Tesseract. I don't know. That's just, that's just strange to me. Whatever. Okay. It's always something in modded. So let's put all of this wool in. And that means I've probably have not been getting any wool into the system since 
I made those quote unquote updates. But let's take a look up here. We've got sewage, some essence, and some sludge. The sludge we can't do much with because it's less than a bucket, but the sewage we can do something with. We're going to make that into something useful and let us sleep the night away with our sleeping bag and we'll go to our project area and it's right inside the castle walls here or the castle keep put this away we'll come over here and we're going to be feeding all of that sewage into the composter and there's the recipe right there it's the thermal expansion modified recipe so we're using a basic machine frame plastic sheets and anyway it's not too bad so we'll grab this composter and then over here we're going to grab the fertilizer because the composter makes industrial fertilizer and over here we're going to get the iron upgrade and then over here we're going to come back to this if we have time but let's go in here to our project chest we're going to be sending the fertilizer out through no no the sewage out through this ender tank it's a diamond personal network and brown 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 and we'll just pick that back up and lose okay lose a laboratory block at the same time you gotta be careful with those especially with all the haste and then over here we're going to get a fluid export bus some acceleration cards and then for the ender chest we're going to get an export bus an acceleration card and then we'll get an inner tank. Nope, we'll come back to that. All right, so first things first, what we need to do is get ourselves a bucket of sewage. So we're gonna grab that like so. And then we'll go into our fluid terminal, get that, and then we'll come up to our export bus area up here. And we will put, okay, we'll have some issues. Let's take our, our fluid export, put it on the network, and then we'll put, uh, we'll put this inside, and then we'll take one ender chest, put it right there, and that will, should be filling up. What is that, input? We'll figure it out once we get the composter running. So let's go over here and we'll find a good spot for our machine. And I believe we've got plenty of space down. Uh, how about right on top of this guy? So we'll take our composter, we'll put it on that one. What is this one doing? Oh, uh, that is not doing anything. So we'll do item send. Yeah, item send, energy receive, power plus, and we will put, I don't have my magnet on. Oh, it's out of juice. That's why, that's why I couldn't pick up the laboratory block. What we're gonna do is put our composter there all right, so you see we've got plenty of energy, and what we're going to do is take our ender tank, and we'll see, does that work? How about that? Yep, there we go. And so what should be happening now is it should be taking care of all of that. Let's go take a look over in here to see if we're getting industrial fertilizer. Yep, there we go. So we've got some of that going. That's a good thing. And then what we're going to do is go back up to our ME area. Let's grab one of those industrial fertilizers as well. Yep, it's working like a champ. Okay, so we'll go up here. And what we're going to do with this fertilizer is we're going to go make our farm even more efficient. So put those, can you do, can you go there? Yep, you can go there. And then we'll take our export bus. We'll put that on our export area, put the industrial fertilizer in, and then we'll make sure that it is escaping as fast as possible. 
We'll put our brown, brown, brown inner chest. You see that? Isn't that great? And all the industrial fertilizer will go there. And then we'll go over to our farm. And we're going to make this go on the wheat farm. And I think we will have time for the other aspect of our cleanup project. And then maybe I will get to working on the, the wool collection issue. So our wheat farm is this one. All right. What we want to do is come around. I need some power. That's going to be the main issue here. So let's go. Oh, that's really annoying not having the magnet. I miss that thing. Ooh, ooh, lag spike, bad lag spike. Is that going the correct direction? Yeah, that's going the correct direction. All right, and then we'll put our inner chest like so. And we may, we may have to do, oh, that's, that's really annoying. I need my magnet. So I'm going to have to replenish that. Let's go over here. That way we'll pick it up. And then what we can do. And we'll put put this here. And then we'll take our item conduit. Since it wasn't working for the wool. We will go to insert there. Hmm. We'll see once I get some power. So let me grab a Tesseract. I I am not prepared the least bit for this. That's pretty bad. Usually I am. I don't have my... Oh, my wireless. I've, I've been charging that up. So I haven't been charging my magnet, but I've been charging my wireless receiver. Let's see if we can get a Tesseract here. Yep, got one. And we'll go back over and see if we can get some power going for it. The fertilizer. And what that thing is going to do is it's going to be shooting out the fertilizer that we are creating with the composter and helping our wheat grow even faster. At least that is the idea. Item send. It's going to be item nothing. Energy received. Power plus. Okay. So we should be good to go. But items are still not getting in to here. So maybe Mine Factory Reloaded is not working with Ender.io. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I am going to see if I can find something off camera about that and then we'll see if we can take care of this. And if we got time, we will take care of the forestry project that I've got in there as well. But let me let me go grab some more materials and we'll see if we can get that sorted out. Well, I figured it was time to bring you back. Let's take a look at what I've done. I've put a chest right behind each of these ranchers, and then that lets me get back to uh, this Ender.io stuff. So maybe Mine Factory Reloaded is not working with Ender.io, and that could be because we've recently updated. So since I did, since I did this fix, quote unquote, we have updated to 2.4.2 .2 of the FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack, and I don't have the piece of wood for that. I put that back away. And then, oh, it's nighttime again. Over here, yeah, it, it just seems like Ender.io and Mine Factory Reloaded just aren't working together. So I hope that has not caused any issues elsewhere. Ender.io is supposed to be this amazing thing and now I'm having issues with it. So what we've got is fertilizer going into here and we need to put the upgrade as well. What that's going to do is make the fertilizer match our overall harvester and planter. So there we go. Should be good. Okay, so as quickly as fertilizer is coming in, it is being used. So there we go. We're taking care of our sewage problem. This is great. Okay, so uh, 
that one? I don't know. I need to get another piece of dark oak. So that's the next issue. And we should be in range now. Yep, there we go. And we'll put all of that stuff back, including that and that and that. And we'll have to go to the fluid terminal for the sewage. So that'll get get taken care of. And yep. So we'll put that here. Bob's your uncle. Oh, okay, so it's still going. So that's gonna be a rather slow process to go through all of that. The next order of business, hopefully we have enough time. You know what? Let me check the schedule and be sure, then we'll be back. And hopefully we will, because there's some other there's some cool stuff I want to do with that device right there. Alright. I'll see you in just a moment. All right, there is just enough time, but we've got to be quick about this. Let me set this up for you. Let's go in here. Um, we're getting this item in here called decaying wheat. I'm not sure where this is coming from. It could be coming from the uh, mine factory reloaded, the automated wheat farm. I'm not sure, but if we take a look here at potential uses. Okay, let's just hit the U key. We can send this into a moistener. And that's from the forestry mod. I believe that's what we've got over there. And if you put it with, if you put this decaying wheat into the moistener and you mix it with some seeds, you can get mycelium, uh, among other things. So you can make mossy stone brick, moss stone, mycelium from other seeds. So there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go build this thing. So let's grab the moistener there, and then we need to get some water. And I've got that attached to my aqueous accumulator network that I believe is right outside that wall. Let's go downstairs to, say, how about this one? So this is kind of like my forestry corner. We've got the apiaries and stuff. It's kind of my extra... Oh, do we need power? We need, we need water. I don't think we need power. Do that. Plenty of water. What else do we need? And we need some... Let's see if we can get some of the decaying wheat. And some seeds. And we'll see what happens there. And those updates over to the wheat farm should help us get some more wheat seeds. Let's see what happens here. We should be getting some mycelium out. How long does that take? I don't know. No power required. Okay, so this is new to me. Oh, it makes mulch. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, so this is all new. Um, let me just watch this thing so we don't take up the rest of our time. And we'll see where to go from here. If you were to see the look on my face, it, you know, you would see the look of confusion. I haven't quite figured this out, but near as I can tell, the moistener is processing this decaying wheat. And it's kind of recycling back in and creating mulch. And then maybe when this arrow gets all the way full, then we get some mycelium. So this is a rather slow process, and it looks like mulch is a leftover product. So that's the best I can tell. If you know exactly what's going on here, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. You guys have been great with that. Let me know how some of these things work. This is a new one to me, though. So let's see, this is about to hit 100% on this one after it goes over here. Maybe? No? Maybe we gotta do one more? Yeah, I don't know. I Honestly, I don't know. Um, but hey, we're taking care of cleaning up some of our, our leftover products here. And um, 
And yeah, so that's good to know. We've got a lot more uh, productive wheat going, and we're getting rid of that sewage and our... Oh, there was one more. I'll take care of this off camera, but dark oak. Yeah, dark oak wood planks. I will go fill that place in in the wool farm. But hey, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. doesn't cost you a dime. And you'll be sure to know when uh, new videos hit the channel. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today means a lot. I know you could be spending your time elsewhere, but hopefully you've been inspired. If you have, tweet me some screenshots or let me know what you've been working on. I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.